what is ChatGPT and how can you start using it? More specifically, how can you as a content creator use ChatGPT to your advantage and make your life a whole lot easier? Let's not waste any time. We're gonna jump over to the laptop. I'm gonna do an overview and tutorial of how you can use ChatGPT. And then I'm gonna get more specific with how content creators can use it to come up with content ideas, create a content calendar, pitch to brands to land brand collaborations, and so much more. Let's go. First, we're gonna create an account so that you can use ChatGPT, and then we're gonna talk about what the heck is ChatGPT. So in a new tab, you're going to look up OpenAI. This is the artificial intelligence company that created ChatGPT. If you hop onto their main website under product, you will see GPT-4, and here you will be able to try ChatGPT or join the API waitlist, or after searching OpenAI, you can click introducing ChatGPT. Here you will select try and it will open up a prompt for you to create an account. I already have an account created, so you can use Google, you can use anything, but I just plugged in my Gmail email address and created an account right then and there. As you can see, there are a few ways to create your account or get access to ChatGPT. You can try here, you can go through this way, you can try through this website, ChatGPT, and try it here. That'll take you to a tab where you can create an account or you could go to GPT-4 where you can see if you'll get access to it and create an account directly to try out GPT-4, which is the most advanced system producing safer and more useful responses. Once you create an account, this is the page that you will land on. You will see that they generate a few examples for you to try. You could click on them and start a conversation with ChatGPT. Now I do say start a conversation because once you ask a question, ChatGPT remembers the entire conversation until you make a new thread. So you're able to reference something previously mentioned. Let me show you an example of this. When you create your ChatGPT account, this is where you will land. You will open up to this page. There are a few examples to help get you started and they do talk about their capabilities. It does say that they do remember what a user said earlier in a conversation. So as long as you keep that thread open, or the thread is saved on the side, you can always reference back to remarks or comments made in the thread, which I'll show you examples of. With this capability, it allows you to provide follow-up corrections or questions. So an example of that is, what is ChatGPT? Let's ask, what is ChatGPT? Let's ask it, what is ChatGPT? So this is a long one. They say, ChatGPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI. It is one of the most advanced language models available today with over 100 75 billion parameters. ChatGPT has been trained on a massive amount of text data from the internet, including books, articles, and web pages. This training allows ChatGPT to understand natural language and generate responses that are often indistinguishable as a human. If you don't like the answer or you don't understand an answer, you can select regenerate response, and this could give you a new response. Now, ChatGPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI based on the GPT, Generative Pre-trained Transformer Architecture. It is designed to understand natural language and generate human-like responses to prompts or questions provided by its user. So if you're still like, okay, I don't really understand what chat GPT is, explain that to me like I'm five years old. <laughs> So you could have a conversation based off of previous information. ChatGPT is like a very smart robot that can talk to you in English or other languages. It knows a lot of things because it has read many books and websites on the internet. You can ask ChatGPT questions or talk to it like you would talk to a friend. It will give you answers that make sense, just like when you ask your teacher or parents for help. <laughs> So basically you can ask ChatGPT anything and everything, and it's pulling from books, articles, websites, the internet to give you answers. A few things to know about ChatGPT before going into content creation are the types of questions that you can ask it. You can ask yes or no questions. You can ask it to tell you a story. You can ask for a list generative ideas. So let's do something simple like what is two plus two? Therefore, two plus two equals four. Great. And it's also trained to decline inappropriate requests. So there are some limitations there. Something to be aware of is that they may occasionally generate incorrect information. So I wouldn't use it to ask for advice on how to deal with something or even like professional doctor advice. Would not recommend using chat GPT for that. Occasionally may produce harmful instructions or bias content and limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. So it's more recent knowledge goes up to 2021, anything between 2021 and now, you might get some mixed answers or not accurate answers. 
So an example would be, can you help me come up with high protein meal ideas that are dairy free? So I asked for it to come up with a list of high protein meal ideas that are dairy free. And it's now just going to list out a bunch of high protein meals that also categorize as dairy free. This would be a list based question where it lists out a bunch of options for you. Now you could take the conversation even further and ask for like a grocery list for one of these things, or maybe two of these things. So let's say grilled chicken, lentil soup, tuna salad, grilled salmon, sweet potato fries, chickpea curry. How about we do, can you make me a grocery list for one, two, and four? So I don't have to specify, oh, for the grilled chicken with quinoa and roasted vegetables, for lentil soup, for grilled salmon, because we're already having this conversation. It remembers the previously discussed things in this specific thread. All threads are kept here on the left-hand side. And now it's making me a grocery list for items one, two, and four. So now you have a grocery list for all of those things. Naturally, your next step is like, okay, how do you make the lentil soup. I don't know how to make it. You got the items, but now what do you do? And of course it's going to spit out all the instructions for making lentil soup. Okay. That's enough of that. So how can you use chat GPT to your advantage as a content creator? Let's start with some of the basics. I know something that a lot of people struggle with is creating the perfect Instagram bio. So you can actually use chat GPT to create a bio for you. What you could say is, can you write an Instagram bio for someone who is a, I'm going to use my husband as an example, retired film maker and is now, I'll say interested in, because that's what I feel like my students would say, is now interested in self-help or improving their lifestyle through healthy outlets and wants to encourage other men to do things they love and take care of their overall health. Kind of wordy. I don't know. I feel like this could be something somebody would say. So I'm asking it, hey, can you write a Instagram bio about this? So what ChatGPT is spitting out is saying retired filmmaker turned self-help enthusiast on a mission to improve my own lifestyle through healthy outlets and encourage other men to do the same. Sharing my journey to better physical and mental health plus tips and tricks for finding happiness in everyday life. Obviously, this is a little bit longer than an Instagram bio. So maybe we could say, perfect. Can you rewrite that to fit 150 character limit? Obviously, I wouldn't do hashtags on a bio. So here's the revised version. Retired filmmaker turned self-help enthusiast on a mission to inspire men to pursue passions, prioritize health and, health and find happiness. Po boom shakalaka. Look at that. That's wonderful. I love how like, there's a few emojis. Don't have to use the hashtags. Maybe instead replace that with a call to action. That is one way that you can use ChatGPT to create an Instagram bio for you. Another way to use ChatGPT is to come up with YouTube video ideas for you. So let's say, can you come up with 10 YouTube titles, let's say catchy, catchy YouTube titles about, let's, let's go to another niche about, you could be brief, so you could say travel, but really you want to give ChatGPT as much information as possible. So it could give you really, really accurate information. So you could use long worded sentences and questions and really give it as much information as possible. So let's try my niche, come up with 10 catchy YouTube titles targeted towards content creators who want to grow on social media or make content creation in their full-time job. Let's see. Now it's going to spit out 10 catchy YouTube titles, 10 social media hacks for content creators to go viral from hobby to full-time, how to make a living content, creating content, the ultimate guide to building a successful YouTube channel. Here are 10 catchy YouTube titles that you could use. So let's take this even further. Let's do number six. Can you give me a few title variations for um, number six. Let's see if it can do that. Variations for title number six. 
avoid these common mistakes as a content creator, the top 10 mistakes you're making as a content creator. Are you making these 10 mistakes as a content? Perfect. So here's a bunch of different title or here's a bunch of different ways to write one title for YouTube. Now we're going to take this a step further. Let's pick the top mistakes you're making as a content creator. And we're going to ask, can you provide an outline for the top 10? Let's see if it could give us top 10 mistakes. Here's an outline. One, introduction. Explaining the importance of avoiding making mistakes as a content creator. Mistake number one, not defining your niche. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mistake number two, neglecting SEO. Why does this sound like a YouTube video that I've actually filmed? Mistake number three, inconsistent branding. Oh my gosh. I really need to see if this is copywriting my YouTube videos. <laughs> So as you could see, it is literally creating a YouTube script for you, or at least a YouTube outline for you to then apply your own knowledge and words to. Now, while that continues to generate, I do want to give you a warning because some people that have been playing around with ChatGPT have discovered that there are some issues with copyright. As you know, this software pulls from online articles, blog posts, and all of the things. So what's going to stop it from fully using an entire blog post or an entire article copy pasted without adjusting for any copyright reason? So it's super important for any time you get a response from ChatGPT to plug it back into Google to make sure you're reverse searching and making sure it's not copywriting anybody's content. So this one could be fair use. You could always copy, you could copy paste this to your own uh, YouTube creation process and then adjust it as you see fit since you are the expert. So this is a great way to come up not only with YouTube title ideas, but crafting an outline for your YouTube videos. So far, we've talked about both Instagram and YouTube. And if you're somebody that's looking to grow on either of those platforms, I have free resources for you. Yes, absolutely free. This video is sponsored by me. So I'm going to drop my free resources for all of you. The first resource is if you're looking to grow on Instagram, I have a free training. It's one hour long that teaches you the 100 day roadmap to see Instagram success. By following this roadmap, you could gain 10,000 followers and make $1,000 within a hundred days on Instagram. So go sign up for that webinar. I'll leave the link down below. Now, if you're somebody looking to grow on YouTube and you're just getting started or you're kind of dipping your toes in the water, I created this ultimate YouTube start workbook guide, all the things you could ever need for starting a YouTube channel. It's going to walk you through how to do it properly. And it's going to basically help you set the foundations of your channel so that you could grow quickly. This is 21 pages. It teaches you everything you need to know about equipment, setting up your channel. Do you need to pick a niche coming up with video ideas that aren't copyrighted? So check out those two resources, depending on what your goals are this year. And let's keep going. Another thing that you could use chat GPT for is creating a posting schedule. So let's say, can you create an Instagram posting schedule for me when I can only post, let's say three times a week? <laughs> Love it. Look how cool that is. Okay. So there you go. You created a posting schedule for every week. This is going to be what your every week will look like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday at this time, Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday at this time, Friday at this time with content ideas. So you could do an inspirational quote there, product or service showcase if you're an entrepreneur or somebody who is selling a service of some sort. And you can even do behind the scenes photo or video of your business or personal life. Something that would take this a step further is maybe if it could tell you, let's do reels ideas. So can you help me come up with... Instagram reels ideas for someone who loves both fashion and home decor. So I get that question a lot is like, can you have two niches? How do I make content about that? So this is something, let's see if chat GPT could answer that question. It says here's some Instagram reels ideas for somebody who loves both fashion and home decor outfit to decor. Start the reel in your current outfit and then transition to a shot of a corner of your room in your house that matches your outfit. This could be a color scheme, a pattern, or a style theme. That's a really fun idea. Before and after show the transformation of a room in your house or an outfit that has been styled differently, you can use the split screen effect to show the before and after. A closet tour, providing tips for organizing a small closet that's brilliant and combines both fashion and home. So basically it's just listing a, few, a bunch of ideas for you to get started 
with creating reels, combining two passions, which I think is something that's really cool because there's so many people that I know and even students that are multi-passionate and they just can't pick one thing. And so it's really cool that you could maybe combine two. Let's try to do another one. Can you help me come up with reels I or TikTok? Let's try TikTok. TikTok ideas for someone who loves coffee and giving social media tips. Because that's me. <laughs> I love coffee and giving social media tips. So let's see. Number one, coffee shop tips. Share your tips and tricks for working from a coffee shop or how to order your coffee like a pro. <laughs> social media hacks. Share your favorite social media tips and tricks in a quick and engaging format. Coffee tasting. Take your audience on a coffee tasting journey. I'm kind of doing that on my TikTok right now. Instagram trends, latte art tutorial, social media etiquette. So this is the first one was definitely a combination of the two. And now it's kind of alternating back and forth between the two niches. So very interesting. Again, it was just something I was curious about. I love that. Now let's get a little juicy. Let's see if chat GPT can create a pitch to a specific brand for me so I could land a paid brand collaboration. Can you write an email pitch to Tarani? Email to Tarani. Pitching my services as a content creator. Help me land a brand collaboration with them. Pitching my services as a content creator in the social media space. I don't know if that's phrased right. We'll try it a few times, see what happens. Dear Tarani, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to express my interest in collaborating with Tarani as a social media content creator. As an avid fan of your products, I would love the opportunity to work together and showcase your brand to my engaged audience. A little bit about me fill that in with it, whatever it is that's about you. I believe my skills and experience align perfectly with Tarani's brand values, and I'm excited about the potential for collaborating between us. Here are some ideas for how we could work together. Wow, it even lists ideas. I'm open to other ideas and suggestions as well. Would love to hear your thoughts on how we could work together. Dang, this is a fantastic pitch. I mean, it's a little longer than what I would suggest. It's possible brands get a lot of pitch emails daily. So keeping yours short and sweet is ideal, but wow, it hits on a lot of the talking points, getting straight to the point. Very small one sentence about you, ideally. It's more focusing on the brand, your audience's interest in that brand. And if you have ideas, talking about ideas for how you guys can work together. So that's really cool. Now let's see how much should I charge for an Instagram reel when I have 5,000 followers and a 20% engagement rate. Let's see if they could do that. I'm just curious what it'll spit out. Determining how much to charge for an Instagram reel can depend on various factors. Yes. Start by re researching industry standards and rates for similar. Da, da, da. Consider your production costs factor in. Wow, I'm glad it didn't just like whip out some random calculation of like, oh, you charge one cent per follower and this is how much you charge because that's such outdated feedback. Your potential could be anywhere here. However, this is just general guideline. Your rate may vary depending on all these things and the contract that the brand gives you. There's so many things in the contract that could change. So I appreciate it didn't just like whip out a random formula and it actually told you to like do research and consider a lot of other things like production costs, social media metrics, all the other deliverables, et cetera, et cetera. So very cool option. And then one other thing that I wanted to add it, can you write up a contract between me and Tarani as a brand and influencer agreement? Love it. Just want to make sure that it knows its bounds. It knows its bounds, contracts, any sort of legal stuff. Love that it's probably one of those trained to decline inappropriate requests. They probably won't answer that because it is a legal thing. Love that for them. One last thing that I want to test with chat GPT is how you could get started as a UGC creator and start making money. So how can I get started with UGC and make money in less than one week? Okay, so this isn't really the answer that I was looking for. What I want to know is like, how can I sell my UGC to brands? So let me rephrase the question. How can I sell my UGC content to brands so I can start making money? 
I think this is probably what I was looking for. Identify brands that align with your content. Perfect. Reach out to the brand, showcase your UGC content. When reaching out to the brand, be sure to showcase your UGC content and explain why it would be a good fit for their brand, including metrics. Love that. Negotiate compensation, of course. I wonder if it could create a UGC pitch for me because I think a lot of people, maybe they have good UGC creation skills, but they get stuck at reaching out to brands. So how how do I pitch to a brand that I want to work with and make UGC content for? Can you write me an email pitch? Sure, here's an email pitch. Collaboration proposal. My name is Barbara. <laughs> and I'm a blank with blank. Okay. So UGC, you don't really need to have a following number. So I don't think that one is as relevant. I believe my UGC content would be a great fit for you. I create blah, 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 that blah, blah, blahs. And I think it would resonate well with your audience. Here are some examples. Perfect. Would love to collaborate with your brand to create UGC content that showcases your products in a unique and engaging way. If this sounds interesting to you, open to discussing different types of collaborations. Perfect. And then showcasing all the different types of content. So I think the only thing off here is the number of followers that you have, because that's not as relevant for UGC content. But basically what it comes down to is UGC can be used for anything. Basically what it comes down to is if you feel like you're in a creative rut, jump over to chat GPT. I love to do like keyword research specifically. So I'll probably still be on YouTube and TubeBuddy, vidIQ, keywords everywhere, doing my due diligence to make sure that the keywords that I'm targeting in a title still heavily ranks me for SEO purposes, but to just get those wheels turning and start getting some content ideas or planning out your content. If you need help coming up with YouTube title ideas, outline a YouTube video, Instagram reel posts, TikTok posts, all the things, you can use ChatGPT to help those wheels rolling. So there you have it. There's your ChatGPT overview and tutorial. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, be sure to hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss when I post my next video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.